there was a period of at least six weeks where every day we would come in and there was a new policy that was diametrically opposed to the policy that was there the day before. And then when we came in the next day, there was a new policy that was yet again completely different. Um, and there was never any explanation. Um, it was just, this is the way you will do it. And there was never any, there was never any um, cooperation between the people who had been there, who knew these clients, who knew how things worked with those clients, and the people who were making the decisions. They were not interested in their input whatsoever. And it, the environment became absolutely toxic. Um, they spoke to people in, I don't speak to my dogs, in the tone or with the amount of disregard that they would speak to the people who were there working for them. Um, if we tried to advocate for our clients and say, you know, my client is not going to deal well with this change, the answer was, they'll get over it. This is how it's going to be. Um, it, it just the complete disregard for the workers and for the clients is it's disturbing to me. When we would try and tell them, this isn't working, they didn't care. And it wasn't, I mean, of course, someone's going to say, you know, I put 3,000 miles on my car, and I'm still not seeing all my clients. And, you know, 30 cents a mile is not a great reimbursement when gas is 390. Um, but more than that, if that's what's going on, your clients are not getting what they need. My daughter, as I said, my stepdaughter, was a client at CEI. In the time that she was a client, which was between six and nine months, she had six different case managers through CEI. Six different job developers, I should say. And if the job developers are supposed to see the clients every two weeks, that means she would see each one once or twice, roughly. There were there was one that she never got to see from the time that they were assigned to her until the time that it all changed again. Um, but she has a visual impairment. She has... Um, developmental disability and they would bring her job leads a list handwritten very small of okay these are people you need to talk to and leave it and she's supposed to do that on her own it didn't make sense to me yeah because the job developer is in such a hurry to try and drive across town to the next one exactly. or make it back to CEI for the meeting before driving across town to the next one. Exactly. Um, during the period of time where there's, there was this huge managerial shift, um, they were letting people go. People were quitting because they were so upset. The environment was so toxic. And instead of addressing the fact that we had this huge client population and not enough people to service them, they would say, okay, now you're going to take all these clients and then we're going to take your clients and give them to somebody else. Then we're going to take their clients and give them to somebody else. Oh, they quit. So no, we got to spread those clients out between the people that are left. Um, there, instead of stopping, you know, putting clients on a waiting list and saying, we're not going to be able to um, service you right now until we get this restructuring finished. They just kept taking on more and more clients. And 
there were clients I know that weren't seen at all for months because they kept getting lost in the shuffle. And vocational rehabilitation would be upset because clients are calling in upset. So management would go to vocational rehabilitation and smooth down ruffled feathers but not do anything real to make positive change so that the clients were actually getting what they needed. And instead of looking at their corporate structure and their um, how they were doing things, they constantly blamed the caseworkers for not doing what they're supposed to be doing or what they thought they were supposed to be doing. Instead of blaming the corporate culture that made it impossible to do what was expected of you, it, they never seemed to, to look at themselves for answers to the problems. And it made it an incredibly toxic place to work. If nothing else, if this action will just help so that people no longer have to work in this toxic environment, it will be worth all the work that's been put into it. Thank you so much for talking about this. Hopefully we'll make it better. That's the plan.